Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about the weird rules I set up for myself when I was little. I don't know why I set up these rules, but for some reason I thought there was a certain formula for life that everyone had to follow, but no one else knew them for some reason. So the first rule I set up for myself was that I had to be the funny friend. Don't ask me why, I'm not even funny, but I thought I was. So. I would go out of my way to make a bad joke about things. I thought it was a good joke, but it was a really bad joke. I dedicated like a good two or three years of my life trying to be the funny friend. I realized that I was being kind of, you know, annoying. You know how I handled that? I became more annoying. I thought because of this, it was like the universe or something telling me that I had to be the annoying friend. So I became the annoying friend, on purpose. Who does that? I don't know, me apparently. So on my quest to become the annoying friend, I screamed, I laughed obnoxiously, I talked way too loud, way too much as well. I talked over people, I did a lot of, lot of annoying things and I am so sorry to anyone that knew me in that period of my life. If you knew me from maybe third grade to maybe fifth or sixth grade, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. So number two on my, it's only what? Don't forget to talk about your imaginary friends. <sighs> you guys remember Ollie, right? Oh, my annoying sister. I didn't have imaginary friends, first of all. You totally did. You had one named Ryan and these weird mice She's things. She's lying. Okay, yeah, I had imaginary friends. Told you. Would you shut up? Yeah, I had imaginary friends. I had this little, I don't even, I set rules that I had to pick up imaginary rice, rice, mice. <laughs> I had rules that I had to pick up imaginary mice in the bathroom every time I went. They would sit in the corner and I would put them in my pocket all day and then I would return them back to their family after I went to the bathroom again. Don't ask me, okay? My little child brain thought, hey, you know, you know what's feasible? Little mice that are hiding in the corner that want me to take them on adventures. Number three, third rule I set for myself. At daycare, you have to take naps, right? On these cots. They're set up in rows and each kid lays on one and you have to sleep, right? You're supposed to anyway. No one slept, obviously. For some reason, in my brain, I thought I have to get to sleep. If I don't sleep, then I'm gonna get in big trouble. So I need to get to sleep right now. And if I didn't sleep, I had to dream about something. And then I had to think about a dream that I could tell to my mom. Half the time, I forgot what, it, what I thought of, so I couldn't even tell my mom. So, on the topic of dreams, I thought I had to have really, really interesting dreams. So I would make up these crazy things. I would make up these crazy dreams and convince myself that I actually dreamed it. While I was telling it, I was like, this didn't happen in a dream, but I'm gonna keep going and make up, make something up because I'm creative. So basically I was a compulsive liar. Oh well. <laughs> I'm really sick right now. My nose is running and it's really gross. Hopefully you can't see it. You can't see it. My nose just looks really red. That's why my face is extra red today because I have a cold. I'm sorry. <laughs> By the way, happy belated birthday to Amazing Phil because he's amazing. Yeah. He's 30 now. 30. That's crazy. He's twice my age right now. He's twice. Dude, oh my god. Phil's twice my age right now. On that note, subscribe, please. I'm really close to 100 subscribers. Please, please, please subscribe. It, it helps my self-esteem, okay? That number going up gives me some... Whew, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Well, I'm joking. Bye.